Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be something different. This is going to be a pick a card reading. A pick a card reading on what will happen with the situation you have in mind right now. Whatever it is you're going through, whatever's on your mind, that question, that decision, those people, that person, what's going on, why, why. If you're looking for an answer or energies or messages or guidance, let's begin the pick a card reading. If you're looking for an answer in number one, this is pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three. I will give you a moment to breathe in. Breathe out. And pick the pile that resonates with you. Or that you feel connected with. What will happen with the situation? What's going on? How can I find answers or guidance or energies to move me forward or find a little clarity? Let's get started. If you picked pile number one, Let's see what energies we have. Two of Swords. You have to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. What am I choosing? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I choose that job? Should I not? Should I move in? Should I move out? How can I figure out that dynamic? What is that person thinking? How am I going to choose? You're at a crossroads. Let's see. Confused. Indecisive. Still trying to figure it out. Still trying to understand, right? The moon is about waiting for those answers. That invisibility. Invisibility. That Maybe people, maybe you feel people have tricked you, or maybe you feel people are not giving you clarity, are not honest and truthful to the situation, and are not giving you the right answers. Are they hiding something? Are, not, are they not wanting you to know? And that's putting you in the doubt in the indecisiveness. How's this going to move forward? What are you going to choose? What answers can you get to find clarity on the situation? This is something you've invested on. This is something you've been waiting patiently for. Maybe you've worked hard with this group of people. Maybe you've worked hard in your job. Maybe you've invested money in an idea and in a business or anything. And maybe you lent money to someone. You're waiting patiently for that return and that answer. And that is why probably you're not getting the answers. Let's see. You worked hard. So let's see where this is going. Having to move forward. Having to let go certain circumstances, certain mindset, certain people. You're moving towards something smoother. So even though you don't have all the answers yet, even though you worked really hard to make that relationship work or to get that career up and running or to get that job or you worked really hard in that job or to get that diploma in that school, right? It will be different for everyone. I think you're reaching the momentum where you are making a decision to leave something behind because you're really moving into something smoother. I think you are going to get a result, get your money back, or get that answer, or some, 
right? Something you've worked hard on. And that's going to put you in another dynamic, being able to let go and move forward in something different. Yes, there's been a lot of disappointment, but you're going to find a resolution. You're going to be very pragmatic on this. You're going to fix it in a way with what you have. You're not going to go on um, into a dream world, in something that doesn't exist. She knows that she has to make do with what she ha but has, but she's very resourceful. She knows how to find a solution with what she has. Collaboration. You're going to work with other people and leave the situation behind. Leave the frustration behind. Take a step back and here it comes. You go from the, from the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles, back in control with your finances, back in control with your choices. And now you can begin. So yes, it's about leaving emotions behind, situations behind, and rebuilding with a team of people, maybe with family, maybe with friends, maybe in a new circle, maybe in a new job. You're now able to rebuild. Let's move on to pile number two. If you chose pile number two, what is going on or what will happen with the situation you have on your mind right now? Let's see pile number two, what energies, what answers, what messages we have. Beautiful, you have the sun. So if you're reflecting, trying to understand you have these beautiful positive energies that are, that are on your side that are going to push you forward in the right direction. The sun is about being excited and positive on a new path, connecting with the right people, seeing the glass half full. So even if that can be a little stereotypical, right? It is you, it's coming from you inside, pushing forward in positive energies. Maybe it's something you believe in, right? Maybe it's an idea you believe in. Maybe it's a person you believe in, a relationship, a job, a situation, a family situation. You really believe in this, in your core. You believe in sharing warm energies to the people you love. And that pushes you in a beautiful direction. Let's see where this is going. Yes, you believe in yourself and you believe in a new journey. So even if it's something you're not quite sure yet, can I do this? Is this for me? Is it the moment? Because I, I haven't done this before or this is stepping out of my comfort zone because I'm really daring to go on a new adventure for new opportunities. So whether this is with a person in a relationship, in a job, in a business, in life, this is your life path, you're daring to put yourself out there and to go discover all new opportunities. So if you're, for example, hesitating in or trying to figure out what's gonna happen in a situation with a person, you're ready to embark on that journey even though you don't know where it's going to go it's new but you're daring you're daring to give it a try and you're or you're daring to put yourself out there to start a new career or start a new idea or put your talent out there whatever it means for you it's something you're very excited about and it's something you want to share share with your family share with others whatever it is. Yes, enthusiasm. It's all new. 
it's all new. This is a young journey. So, right, it's about taking your first steps into the unknown. If it's a partnership or relationship or a job or a new career journey or just a new life in moving, moving somewhere else. It's very refreshing, something completely new and almost a little bit innocent, but very enthusiastic for you. And that these are absolutely beautiful cards and that's the 10 of cups, finding your harmony. That's where you belong. That's gonna bring you stability, harmony in your home. This is your path. This is where you are going to find your happiness and your stability, your balance, whatever it means for you. Let's move on to pile number three. If you've chosen pile number three, let's see what energies, what answers we have. Pile number three. What's, what will happen with the situation you have in mind right now? Pile number three. I do not read reversals. Cycle completed. Moving into a whole new cycle. Job well done. Job well done. If you're waiting for an answer, it's the green light. It's something that's going to happen or you finally completed something, you're moving into the next cycle. Beautiful. The world is all about being proud, being proud of what you've accomplished, being proud of a cycle in school where you got your diploma, job well done, or something you accomplished in your job, in your career, in your life, job well done. It's something that is really going to boost your energies, boost where you came from and to put you into this next cycle. So for example, if you've been working really hard on a project, this is going to take you to the next level, right? It's about looking outwards. What's the next step? How can I expand? Observing things from a higher perspective. It's about growing. Growing to the next level. Rising up to the next level. Going from student to teacher, right? Or from, you know, from one level to the next. So maybe you've accomplished a lot in your job and getting that promotion. Waiting for that answer, you're going to grow. You're going to expand your horizons. If you have um, accomplished or finished your school, you're going to step into a career and rise up to something more important. This is completing a cycle but it's also acknowledging your place in the world, your purpose in this world, and how now you can grow and expand your horizons. Beautiful card. Yes, starting a team, starting something new, you're building something, you're building a career, or you're starting a job, you're going to connect with a new team here. So if this is an answer you're waiting for, you're part of this team. If this is something that you just accomplished something and now you're waiting to see if you're going get to get into that new dynamic, into that new company or on that new path, this is a big yes. Because everything you've done up to now has made you more experienced, so now you can be part of the big league. Be part of this team that's building something big. 
pressure, yes, but you're moving into something more important. A lot of people, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. You're stepping up, stepping up your game, stepping up your power, pushing forward into the next step of your life, whether it's moving or your life, expanding your life, expanding your career, expanding your energies. You're stepping up to something so much more important. Disappointment, conflicts, and there we go, two of wands. So is this an easy path? Probably not. But it's almost like before you step in to that next level, before you power up, before you boss up, job, life, relationship, whatever it is, it's something you have to um, compromise in, right? Compromise discussions, ideas. So, for example, if you're starting a new relationship, it's exciting. You're starting a whole new life, moving in with someone, or starting a new job a new career or moving to a new space, right? The, the world is really, really putting you in your next chapter, whatever that signifies for you with the situation you're thinking of. It's not without conflict, but I feel like the conflict is about ego. There's a lot of ego going on there. So you have to anchor yourself to to um, I'm, I'm seeing a car parking, parallel parking. So you have to wiggle your way in diplomatically in this new space, in this new place, in this new relationship. But you're now, you now have a vision. Now you have your goal. You know what this is all about. You know what, you have the answer now. You have the answer that you will be part of that team. You will be part of that game. You will be part of that next energy partnership. That's your next chapter. I'm going to pull one more card. Take it easy. Yes, you still have to make that decision. And there we go with the higher fence. Um, it's making it official. So there will be steps along the way where you have to take your time and take some rest. It's not something that's going rapidly. It's not something that you have to, you have to be, you have to adapt and you have to listen and you have to be diplomatic. You can't push your narrative and do what you want to do. This is about compromise. It's about understanding that if you work with a team, a new team, for example, you finally get the answer on that job. It's a big yes. If you, if you move in with someone and are starting life or want to start a family with someone, it's a big yes. If you're moving, or wanting to redirect your career or just ending your school and entering life, it's a big yes. But to adapt, to get what you want, to get next level, it's about compromise, adapting, listening, and taking your time. Step by step, you will resonate with the right people. Step by step, you will be in the right direction. You have the Hierophant. Something is becoming official. Something is becoming structured. You're getting a sign of approval of someone, sealing the deal, or getting married, right? Officializing something. But you have to allow the give and take and give yourself time to adapt so you can resonate with the right energies. Beautiful. Beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this pick a card, pick a pile. Let me know what you think. 
Let me know if you would like more of these type of readings. These are all energy readings. I think the next one is probably going to be why is the universe sending me these messages? Why am I seeing these signs? So if you're interested in that, that's going to be the next one. Because I always feel we see signs, we see things, or we have the intuitive message coming in and we don't always understand why we keep seeing those signs and those repeats. So the next one will be, why is the universe sending you these signs these days. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.